Welcome back, fight fans. Welcome back. Welcome back. Let's just dig right into it. Sergey Kovalev versus Alida Alvarez. Uh, this is part two. Um, now, this is going to be a championship fight, and we just got to break it down and be unbiased about it, make a prediction. And so let's just dig right into it. Sergey Kovalev has 32 wins, three losses, one draw, 28 knockouts, and he's been stopped twice in his career. Sergey Kovalev is 35 years old. He's six foot tall with a 72 and a half inch reach. On the opposite end of the table, Alida Alvarez has 24 wins, 12 knockouts, no losses, no draws. He's 34. He has uh, he's six feet tall with a 75 and a half inch reach. And so this is going to be very interesting fight. Sergey Kovalev and Alida Alvarez uh, first fight. Um, Alida Alvarez stopped Sergey Kovalev in the seventh round. So I think that was a very interesting turn of events. I don't think anyone saw that happening. Um, to be fair, Alida Alvarez was losing the majority of those rounds before he stopped Sergey Kovalev. Ko Kovalev looked like he started, started strong and then kind of gassed and went out, you know, later in the fight. Body work, breaking him down over the rounds cost Sergey Kovalev that fight. Now, I think that if Ko uh, Sergey Kovalev can prove that he can show conditioning, um, he can win this fight. I just don't see Sergey Kovalev losing another fight because if he loses this fight, he's done. He is done at the championship level. This fight is do or die for Sergey Kovalev. I think, in my opinion, I have to pick Sergey Kovalev to win this fight. I think Alizar Alvarez is a very good fighter. I think he's shown that he can break Sergey Kovalev down. And I understand that, you know, my mind is telling me that I should go for a leader Alvarez, but something about this fight it doesn't sit right with me. When I look at Sergey Kovalev, I look at him as being a hungrier fighter at this point in his career, being completely desperate. The fact that Sergey Kovalev completely came into the first fight and was completely beating a leader Alvarez until he gassed out. You see, Sergey Kovalev only has to do one thing right at this point, and that's work on his conditioning and stamina. As long as he fixes that in this training camp, although he we've seen this be an issue before against Andre Ward, but that that fight ended controversially as well. So, can Sergey Kovalev show that he can fix his you know conditioning? I believe he can. I believe it's going to be enough to get the win. I think he's going to start off strong, dominate the fight early. And I believe that his conditioning this time around will show great improvement. You know, I, I think Sergey Kovalev is a very good fighter, very underrated fighter. And, you know, he's a very strong fighter. So I think he even has the ability to hurt Alida Alvarez. You know, the, the last fight, it was a very interesting fight. It went seven rounds. But you also have to look at it like this. Sergey Kovalev before that fight, you know, he he stopped you know Shabransky in two rounds um before that fight he stopped um you know Igor uh McKinnon in seven rounds so he's already had two wins under his belt um but they weren't step-up fights so but they were they were fights that you knew that he just needed to get back into the swing of thing I think another training camp under his belt trying to get his conditioning and stamina right is going to do nothing but aid and help Sergey Kovalev please leave your predictions in the comments let's address them I think Sergey Kovalev comes in wins this fight and I think it'll be an interesting uh, outcome. Not sure exactly how he wins it, whether it be by a decision or a knockout, but I think he does enough and his, his conditioning improves enough to get the win. Once again, unbiased as always, it's the IBFP. Please share, like, and you must absolutely subscribe.